Hey guys, Pat from Elite Action Joe Studios. Something a little bit different. So this is a really cool line I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, this is a Hasbro line. Actually, you, remember, you guys remember Hasbro? They were a toy company that existed like, I don't know, a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so my friend Adam at the G.I. Joe Lost Chronicles started his Mego Monday and it put me... Uh, put me thinking about DC and uh, it dawned on me that I had these figures in a box from my original collection. These are from 1999. Um, of course Aquaman, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Um, and they also had Batman with like a removable cowl and a Superman figure. Now I did buy these. Oh, This guy is drunk isn't he? This guy's fallen like three times since we set him up. Anyway, um, I, I bought these when they originally came out in 99 um, in the store, uh, in, in the box. But, of course, I like to open my stuff up. But um, I never did uh, get back to getting the Batman or the Superman. Um, so, anyways, I dug these out after uh, Mego Monday started. Uh, I was going to show them off, and then I kind of forgot about them for a couple weeks. I had them sitting here, but... Then I watched um, MIB Master Toy Museum, uh, and he he featured one that is from the same, essentially the same line. I think it might have come out a year later, but it was Superman, but it was Clark Kent ripping his his uh, suit off with a Superman underneath, and it came with a phone uh, booth. And it was a really cool piece and got me thinking back. So I, I started looking back into these. Um, and they actually, they did follow up with some. They weren't necessarily the same line. These were uh, from the DC Superheroes Silver Age Collection in uh, 1999. And it was just, uh, the original one was just these three and then Batman and Superman. Um, and I actually looked online. These three are very reasonably priced uh, loose or in box Batman and Superman line are a little bit more expensive um, now they did go on and they made other other figures similar to this in 99 in like 2000 maybe into 2001 they did a golden age Batman and Robin with the same articulation and stuff it was really cool um, then they made a, a Guardians of Gotham which was uh, Bruce uh, Wayne uh, with the Batman suit also. Then there was uh, Gotham Villains, uh, Penguin and Joker. Then there was a couple different ones, uh, JLA, uh, Blue Superman and JLA, Martin, uh, Martian Manhunter. Then they came out with a Masterpiece Batman, which is first appearance of the old, like with the bigger ears, a uh, really cool figure that was. And then the, um, of course, the Clark Kent one that I just mentioned. Um, I'm actually going to pull the trigger, I think, and buy, if I can find loose, uh, the Batman and Superman just to have in my collection. I haven't I haven't bought much for the collection being out of work with the old uh, bum wing, but this is something I think I want to, just since the technically the two figures will, will complete the, that actual line. And I just think they're really great figures. If you, Can you get in tight on those? The, I think the head sculpts are just fantastic, and I looked at pictures of the Batman and, and Bruce Wayne or um, and Clark Kent. They're really nice too. They they uh, they have a similarity, of course, but they they made them different enough that you know you can tell one's Superman and one's you know uh, Bruce Wayne. But these figures um, are really cool. Uh, I am missing two arrows from the. Uh, the Green Arrow, um, but they're so classic looking. I mean, they're really cool. I, he may have come with a lantern also, I believe. Um, I don't know. I probably have it somewhere. But um, the only disappointing thing I think for me was that uh, Green Arrow didn't have his uh, little goatee and mustache. I think that would have yeah, really he just looks like Robin Hood. Hood. But um, but overall, I think these were this was a great line, and I actually went back and watched. Uh, MIB, uh, he had three years ago. He did a, a a video on these box, of course, because he only does uh, 
the mint in box that's what mib stands for um so if you want to check him out it's um mint in box museum uh uh, what is it? I always get that wrong. Master Toy Museum, MIB Master Toy Museum, 1979, and he has a nice. Uh, they're in the box, so you can see. And you can see the other two, but it's a really cool line. I just wanted to share with you guys, and um, I just, uh, you know, thanks for Mego Monday, Adam, because it really gets you thinking about stuff, comics, and and uh, so, nostalgia. Uh, of the three here, which do you think would probably be your favorite? Of just these three figures that you own? That's a good question because I know a lot of people beat down Aquaman. Uh, growing up, I really I dug Aquaman because I was a, a water guy. I spent most of my summers either in the woods, in the creek, or in my grandparents' pool. So I was always playing Aquaman when I was little. Um, but there's something about the Green Lantern that's very cool. Um, I'm glad you agree. I think the head sculpt is probably the best, in my opinion. Yeah, the, I, like I said, these head sculpts are fantastic. So I, I think out of these three right here, I would have to go with probably the Green Lantern. But um, they're they're all super cool. I did try. They never made a Flash, so I, I tried to make a Flash uh, custom. This was, you know, years ago, over 20 years ago. I used a Daredevil famous covers... Uh, figure. Now I did have a big emblem, emblem there to try and cover the daredevil because if I would have tried to cut this out or, or nip it off it would have ruined the whole costume. Um, and I, I wanted to go back and, and do the eyes also. And I just used tape on the, the boots and it looks bad now because it's all breaking down. But um, this Flash of course was you know part of that team but and he was one of my favorites as well. But I just want to share these with you guys. Uh, check out that MIB uh, video if you want to see the other two. Um, but I hope you enjoy these. Just try, try to do something different. Share, uh, like I said, nostalgia popping into the old head because of Migo Mondays. And on that note, we'll wrap it up. You guys have yourselves an AOA kind of day.